What's going on? We're back with the Boston Clinic and Morris, your boy CJ Goodfellow. We talked about yesterday Deontay Wilder agreeing to fight Anthony Joshua in the UK. Eddie Hearn is finally rebuttal. He responded. Um, Eddie Hearn says that um, this came as a shock to him, Rob McCracken, the coach of Anthony Joshua, and Anthony Joshua. And I'll link this guy article in the description so you can read it for yourself and let you know that it's true. And he says that, uh, you know, Deontay Wilder will receive an offer or a contract ex- as soon as possible. He said he will have a contract, you know, to Deontay Wilder at the end of the week. But it is some hurdles to cover. You know, obviously, um, he says Deontay Wilder waited uh, 11 or 12 weeks, you know, to make this to make this uh, you know, deal. And it kind of messed up their TV day. They want to do, do it in September. But it kind of makes it difficult now that if you haven't heard Canelo Alvarez and we already knew this was happening, you know, before 11 weeks. We knew this happened like in May 5th or before May 5th. Canelo Alvarez is locked down a date at the T-Mobile Arena uh, September 15th. It's allegedly going to be against Triple G. They're back negotiating again. Okay. So he says that makes it a little bit difficult to get a US TV date then. He said, we sent the offer to Deontay, the last offer we sent to him four weeks ago. You know, he said, why did it take so long for him to accept it? We don't know if he planned or not. I'm paraphrasing there. But if you just sent the latest offer, see the lie right there four weeks ago, then why would he accept the deal 11 or 12 weeks ago? So why didn't you send this offer you sent four weeks ago, 11 or 12 weeks ago, if you guys really, really, um, you know, cared about a middle of a September date, which they like they was targeting September 15th. Um, but it really wouldn't matter because at the end of the day, Canelo fight is probably going to be pay-per-view. This is not a pay-per-view fight in the United States at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. He got to know that. That's, U.S. TV deal is going through Showtime. You know, most most than likely. But it would be smarter to put it on NBC, CBS, though. But that's another video for another day or to later today. So now they're targeting November, October, November ish for this fight. I guess to build it up and get a right US TV date. And he says they had may he said he don't know if, you know, Wilder's trying to sign a deal because they they are in talks with Pavekin. Or does he really want to fight? You know, he said, well, we're going to find out this week. And by the end of next week, we should have a decision. Obviously, this man wants to fight. It ain't got shit to do with the Pavekin deal. Obviously, he don't want to fight Dominic Brazil, who's actually suing him in the court of law. Okay. He don't want to fight him. If he compromised to y'all little petty ass deal that y'all sent, which it ain't probably too much better than the $12.5 million deal they sent. Which I have no proof right now, but I can guarantee you, it ain't too much more than the twelve point five they offered him. You know he's compromised to make this fight happen. He wants it to happen now. So for him taking y'all little petty deal and y'all try to spin it like Deontay Wilder said, "Oh, the fight got to happen in the U.S." He never said that, and I got the interview to prove it. He said he never wanted the fight to happen in the U.S. He just seen an opportunity with Anthony with the Anthony Johnson. Said that, uh, you know what? If they give me fifty million, I sign tomorrow. And obviously, that was a lie. He's scared. He shook to come over to the United States, and that's cool. Most people say, "Well, the fight should be, you know, in the UK anyway." That never was an issue. He threw a number out there. They gave him the number plus more, and um, he didn't, you know, obviously he wanted to stay at home, and um, you know, Wilder's taking a big risk going to the UK. Obviously, these are some of the most funny acting, screwy business type men over here. You know, with the ref and, and the judges and all the fishy shit that go down over there. You know, remember the Malik Scott and the Derek Shazora fight? You know, and they go, they go, they go, they gonna get Anthony John, Johnson every opportunity to win this fight and Deontay Wilder every opportunity not. But then the day, that's what's gonna make the deal that much sweeter. And then they agree for a two fight deal and the second fight to go to the United States. At the end of the day, I said this a while, like a couple months ago, I did a video. Whoever loses this fight, because they're going to lose by knockout, in my opinion. <laughs> ain't going to be no media rebound. It's going to be the Butte and Carl Frosch. Butte and Carl Frosch was a two-fight deal as well, too. And when Carl Frosch knocked out Butte, Butte didn't want it no more. And I think that's exactly what's going to happen. But, um, you know, Deontay should have had a contract on this, on, this, uh, on this table pretty soon. 
And let's see if you put pen to paper, sign the contract, and get it done. Well, let's see if they run that contract to Pavekin and say, look, Pavekin, man, go ahead and sign this contract for Deontay to sign this contract. You know what I'm saying? Because obviously I don't trust I don't trust them, man. And people say, you know, we hating on Eddie. I'm not hating, man. Did y'all see the y'all y'all see y'all they've been lying the whole process, man. They've been lying. You know, exaggerating. You know, at the end of the day, I'm not sure. I know they don't want Deontay Wilder, so I, I, I'm not holding out hope this fight. I'm still sticking to my guns. I'm not holding out hope this fight still happen. I'm still saying it won't until I actually see them, the contract signed in the uh, opening press conference. But I don't know what the big deal about the, the US TV date is. Even with Canelo Alvarez fighting on September 15th, it's no big deal. Because Eddie Hearn do re- re- realize that Canelo's going to be fighting on pay-per-view. This fight is going to be regular TV, regular showtime at the be- at, at at the minimum. Regular showtime at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's not going to be a pay-per-view fight. So you don't have to worry about putting two pay-per-view dates with, with Canelo Alvarez. Your fight won't affect Canelo Alvarez because it, it's like five or six hours apart. 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you know, and Canelo probably fight 11, 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in Vegas. That's not an issue. That's not an excuse you can use. You can put your fight date on September 15th. It won't bother Canelo. It's not pay-per-view. It's regular showtime, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's a middle-of-the-day fight or middle-of-the-afternoon fight. So all that pro- all that bullshit propaganda he's pushing out there is bullshit. Don't act like this is a pay-per-view fight because nobody paying for this fight at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I wouldn't just watch it because I'm not paying for no fight. I got way more shit to do at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in September. Way more shit to do than sit there and watch a fight for 30, 40, 50 bucks. I'm not, fuck no. If they want this to be a 40, 40 50, 60 dollar pay per view, should have came to the United States. Keep your little 10 dollar, 20 dollar pay per view in the UK. Whatever you want to price this one at. And it's going to be free. And if this fight ain't free in the United States, I just won't bother with it. I won't watch it. I swear to God, I won't watch it. I'll catch a replay or. or, or or whatever it is, but I ain't supporting it. I ain't paying no money for it. I guarantee you that. Only fight I really pay for right now is Bud Crawford versus Earl Spence. That's a real fight. Or two real fighters, in my opinion. You know. But let me know what y'all think. Article link in the description. Don't forget. We got the links, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter in the description as well. We gone.